Just arrived to the car. I haven't put my table up yet. And you want me to sing a song? I don't know if I can. I don't know if it goes and continues. Now I'm inventing. <laughs> you want me to tell you all the stuff I do from when, from when on? I, let me put the table back up. All right, not put this on the table. I can show you if you want. Who wants to know? All right, I get it. You want me to acknowledge that it's pretty amazing that I can pay so close attention to so many things, having had the education or the miseducation I had, the raising up with harshness where I had to constantly be protected, where I had to constantly not look, constantly had to like build, not open up. If I miss out one thing, it's one thing out of a hundred I do. <laughs> you probably have to force me to because I'm really good at paying attention. And I'm listening to the people around me which are hurting me mostly. They're selfish and violent and brutal. And I'm listening to you, whoever you are, <laughs> talking to me. What you want, you always want something. <laughs> And I'm learning stuff and understanding things. And then I prepare for my next, uh, you know, psychological insight. Yeah, I have a lot of things to say right now. Like, for example, I'm thinking about, I am the authority for many things. Like, I, and I pull up this meditation CD. I have done so many of them. But I'm not an idiot. I remember that now. That this person, she was completely psychologically derailed. I have no clue where I met her, like, once. And she got my email and she probably made a list. And now she was like a healer, she said. But she had an issue. She read a book and now she wanted to heal others and make a business. Uh, I can't remember her name. Oh, yeah, I, I remember where I met her too. And I mean, she was seriously derailed. And that was like kind of dangerous now that she pulled her out and wanted to help people. And I'm not that person. I would never be that person. And, uh, yeah, I blamed Wildchild for what she... On the other hand, I do... It's not that I don't understand her, but I don't. <laughs> I, I get it. I'm so... I, I would not put myself on stage to play this right now because I don't know it yet. And what I would tell a student is after they know the notes, they make music, but I know I'm already making music. I can hear it because... Whatever notes I play, it's already music. I could go on stage now. I could use these notes. I can do anything which all would go very well together. I don't want to right now because I would like to affirm the melody. I don't need to know the melody to deviate from it. I can get the mood of the song and play something else. Although, careful there, although we have all the notes available, we cannot play all the notes invariably. Well, I know now, I mean, I know because I already learned it, that certain notes, for example, is it a flat or is it a, a regular note? Natural, it's called net regular. Or is it, you know, which one? Well, whatever, whichever um, decision we make, it will change the entire harmony because there is always a foundation of a chord. Whether we have it or we don't play it, it is a foundation of a chord. And it's definitely one or the other. It's only a half a step, but it will definitely define. Not always, depending on where it is, whether we are ta having a major key or a minor key. Which, of course, will absolutely change the mood of the piece. So here I think we have a major key, which is the irrelevant part, and the whole thing is in a minor key. That's just a feeling. Of course, you can argue and can say, no, 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 the whole thing is the opposite way around. Well, when, uh, this is where the F is, the F sharp. I'm sorry, I said F sharp in the beginning, it's a G flat.
Well, of course, not the G flat. It's for the Fs. I have more to say than I thought. Yeah, I kind of know it all. <laughs> yeah, because a flat can also just be an augmented or, dimin um, or diminished chord, not 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 alter the entire thing. But just when other instruments come in place, it's important that we know. But mainly it's the opposite around. If you get a harmony, you get a you bass ostinato. You get the basic harmony, and then you improvise on top of it. And there you have a very firm structure. What you can do with it. All right then. Okay. Uh -huh, funny. The song Uma Nota Sol. Oops, I made a mistake. I had a little vibrato. It's without vibrato. <laughs> Did you just hear it? Wait, let me do that. Let me do that closer to the mic. I've been thinking about yesterday and this morning that on one hand um, that I'm blowing too much into the phone and I have been wanting to make a sound check where do I have to hold my phone? Also, I have been considering to get one of those... What is this? It's like a mosquito net, right? I mean, these things you put in front of a microphone, I've been seeing adv advertised, the round thing. So the breath would not go into the... Like, we would not have that. Again. Okay, I will, I will be cold. Listen up. <laughs> I made a recognition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did I say? I said 28. Yes. I, um, some stuff. Yes. I know it's happy for. I know that's a good number. <laughs> Excellent number. What? So I've been thinking about making a sound check to know when. Because I noticed it's much, much nicer when my m mouth is closer to the phone. But not too close. And I have been thinking, definitely not here. Look, here I shouldn't do it too much. So I go up. I mean, this could be my sound check, by the way. And I'm looking at the home button. Now I go a little bit higher. Now I'm like in the middle of the phone. I'm talking in the middle of the phone. I have not found another microphone up my iPhone 8 SE. So now I'm having the phone on top of my... I'm looking like these assholes who run around and like very important have a phone in their hand. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> sitting on top of the phone with my mouth right now. I'm going to go back to the front. Yeah, because I don't want that breath. Because it's too bassy. It could be cool, but only as an effect. I think about those things. And I'm the kind of action girl. I would like to take action immediately and find things out. Well, the only thing that bothers me is that you will not allow me perhaps to finish up the song and just having a halfway through like all the others. I don't like it. <laughs> My achievement would be, each of them at least have one nice recording. Yeah, with or without bass basics. One nice recording. Be done. I did that. Fine. That would be my. Yeah, that would be make giving me purpose. Oh, which brings me to the subject. Why did I record my CD? Well, obviously to be famous and loved. <laughs> No, wait, okay, let me think about it. Or maybe to, to buy myself a husband? No, <laughs> they don't like opera. So then, then I just got a message, it was a terrifying message. I can tell you. All right. Which one comes first? The message? I find it incredibly rude, and I wanted to make a point. When people are loud in, in public places, see, in my despair, I found it incredibly rude. See, I'm now we want to deviate me, and I don't want to. I don't want to talk about the fucker. It's outrageous. So I laughed loud. One, ha ha ha. 
that's one, two, three notes. So, big deal. But what's his name? I was told his name is whatever. And he's there like for a whole long, being rude and disgusting. And then he's becoming an Auslika. But what he does is, he's very loud. He talks on the phone, he runs back and forth, and he disturbs the whole store. I mean, you can hear him diagonal across the room. No one ever says a word to him. And not in one, and not in the other one. And no Pete. And he does this horribly, is that horrible, such an invasion. Also because he not, he's not only, not he's not busy on the phone. He makes a point of being obnoxious. Listen up, I am on the phone and I'm an important person. Egocentrical dumb shit. That's my point. And we shouldn't. And to our others too, coming in, new, being like egotistical dumb shit. So I'm not. So I walk out not to talk in the store. Even, I mean, whatever reason it is, I would not talk on the phone in the store. So I had a laughter. So what? It's outrageous, the brutality. I cannot fathom how brutal that is. I cannot fathom it. I, every day I'm done for hours, but not, for the very first time I laughed, three laughs, and he she comes to admonish me like, I'm like, it's outrageous. I wish it to hang on the cross and bleed to death. Actually, make it slow because she has an accumulation of, I don't know, and three days ago I thought that she finally figured out I was surprised because her voice didn't sound like that horrible anymore. No, back to the beginning. All the way to the beginning. I wish it to be nailed on the cross and then many nails in her body and bleed slowly of hunger and sad and, and fear and starvation. That is how harsh what she puts out there. Yeah, the Asian old lady. Must I be afraid now she's going to kick me in the face? It used to be not long ago. Every time she approached my table, I'm scared to shit. Let me. What else is she going to do to me now? Yeah, I think she's they're just hanging in there. What else can that do to hurt me? It's outrageous. Help me. Please stay with me. You don't know how hurting this all is. <sighs> Back to something else. What was the name of the person who wanted to heal? I think I met her. I think her name was Uma. You asked me for the song Uma Not That's All. I, how do I know the, no, the song Uma Not That's All? I don't know. I just do. A little bit hard because I didn't make the choice. Because it, it enters different registers and I have to sing it in different words. It's too loud. Uh, uh, doesn't everybody know the song? <laughs> I mean, anybody who listens to that? 